Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking the time out for yourself, seeing things for what they truly are, working on your 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 weakness as you're enhancing your strength along the way. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you have been watching my videos for for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you feel like you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are truly going through some really hard times right now need validation and confirmation towards the life path or even their soul journey please go ahead and um share while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again thank you so much for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and uh the music that i'm listening to today is so peaceful it's about to make me sleepy y'all um it's called 528 hertz music for the soul aura boost light music for positive energy stress relief and tranquility and i will post that link in the description box below and my video today um well tonight is about twin flame 101 hey Oka, these internal battles uh you are facing are placing you in a positive i'm in a position to receive your blessings and it is you know we're going through you know i've been looking at my numbers and i mean i've been mirroring a lot of numbers lately and it's just like you know we have to go through things we're you know we're figuring things out healing letting go uh seeing the bigger picture looking at things in a different perspective um adding more things to our life that you know is making us happy letting go of things that you know is is leaving us in a uh, low frequency but just being able to know you know all the battles that we're fighting in our head you know the voices that we're hearing um the energy that we collect the energy that we push out you know it's all bringing you to a point of placing you in a position to level up in so many different ways you know you can be praying for one thing and it's just like you're working on it. And even though, you know, it's just like you have to understand. And I, you know, I've been talking about this in different videos. When you're going to the next level, when you're working on the things that you are truly trying to, you know, manifest in your life, you will have negativity. You will have doubt. You will have ego. You will have negative people. You will have darkness. You will have the devil. Anything just to, you know, make you lose focus on the things that you are really, truly trying to work hard to get in your life. And it can, it can become overwhelming. It can become annoying. Ego will try to overboast everything and say, you know, you're not getting this. You know, why do you feel like you, you don't even feel like you deserve these things. And, you know, when you have been through some negative stuff for so long and you've had like, um, like basically um, you've been emotionally and mentally abused verbally abused you feel like when blessings are coming can this be real is this really for me am i worthy of having that yes yes and yes you deserve all these big beautiful things that you've worked so hard for believe that you are worthy of those things believe that these things are happening for you because of the, the things you've been pushing out because sometimes we can be pushing out so much stuff and working on it and trying to believe that things will come i mean it gets it gets surreal because you're like, I've been working for these things. I'm seeing the signs. I'm seeing the synchronicities. I'm getting the visions. I'm having the dreams. You know, I'm having the daydreams. You know, all these things are manifesting in my life. And it's like, can this really be true? Yes, it's going to be happening for you. You have been getting, you know, you've been going through stuff so hard. You know, it, it is sad at times. We have usually gone through miser misery, depression, anxiety whatever is kept you at a low frequency for so long when the stuff comes you be acting brand new like a dog you know 
I didn't believe this could happen for me. You have to believe those things. You, I mean, because you deserve those things in your life. You have worked so hard. You know, that's why we have to be able to have faith in the universe. And at times, it's kind of hard to do that when you're going through so much. And it's just like, it seems to like catch you from every direction. And it doesn't matter because it's like over, overwhelming. And it gets you to a point where you're like, you know, I'm so tired of these things happening. And it's just like, when you start looking at things, it's just like the mask are coming off and i've seen so many people going through so much different karma that's why i'm like oh do not laugh at that you know you seen it coming you know you'll wonder when it was gonna come and it's just like now you're starting to see things that's popping off right in front of you and it's just unfolding everything in the making in, in front of you and it's just like if bad things is happening to people you know the good things are going to be happening too so it's just like the people that go out their way to hurt folks or try to be vindictive or be devilish they're catching it left and right left and right left and right that's why i tell people you know yeah there's there might be some things that's popping off in your life that you really don't like but don't go back and retaliate i said this is the season for karma is coming in and just rewards and it could be a good one or it's a bad one so you got to make sure which side of the fence you on you know that's why i just looking at i'm i'm just waiting for everything to unfold i'll sit there and wait and let that sink in a little bit <laughs> you know you have to be able to do that because it's like it's sad even when you see it like in the world there are so many people that have been getting getting away with dirt for so long and they they've you know they've been getting away with it so long they didn't know how to stop doing it and they always that thoughts oh well, i've been doing it this long I ain't never i never got reprimanded for it i'm gonna keep going and then bow they don't realize god always god's gonna allow you to put that noose around your own neck he'll keep hit, feeding you the rope and you know and he's just like okay you know why are you feeding in, you a rope you're feeding it you know, like when you're devilish like that you're feeding yourself that rope you don't realize you're designing your own noose and you, he's just like here you go here's some more you know oh you want to pray for that for somebody not to get here some more oh you want to be you know disrespectful towards that person and you know bully those oh here's some more you know and it's just like when the people that are you know praising and even though they it seems like they get knocked down knocked down knocked down you know, and it's just like they don't realize while they're getting knocked down. They're getting praises, but it's just like coming in itty bitty increments. And you're not, and you're just waiting. You know, and it's just like, well, gosh, you know, I've been really working really hard and I've been trying to be faithful towards the universe, doing the things that I need to do, letting go of the things I let go of. But this is the only little things I get. And it's like, you have to tell yourself, be grateful, be grateful. It could be a lot worse or, you know, be grateful for these so you can bring in, the, you know, when you bring in more blessings, when you're grateful for the little things that comes in, that lets the universe know they are grateful. They appreciate these little things we're doing for them. Why don't we allow a little bit more to come? In. and then it's just like more and more starts coming in and it's just like when them floodgates and blessings are coming open then all of a sudden you you're you the things you manifested and you prayed for it on triple you know it on you know added out about three or four thing three three or four thousand things on top of the one thing you paid uh prayed for and I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen with other people. And it's just like my friend Brenda, and I, I was just saying that in the other video. She was like, you know, you congratulate people. You applaud people that are doing their blessings while yours is still working out on the shelf. And that's what you're supposed to do. And at times it's hard. I ain't even gonna lie. It can be hard because you know you're working on something and you can see your friends manifesting these blessings, this and this and that. And you never should fall short on being mad because they got theirs and you haven't got yours yet because you don't know what they had to form up to get theirs you're just seeing the outcome unless you're there with them that whole time and you see it and they're like oh okay i get it you know that's why i always try to say okay this person's getting this that's fine you know i don't know how long they've been working on that i don't know what they had to sacrifice to get what they had you know or you don't know what they had to really go through to be able to get prepared for this so it's just like you have to be worried about your own lane worrying about your life because there's a lot of times things is coming you know your journey is your journey not everybody's meant to understand your journey everybody's not meant to understand why god put you in a certain position for a certain journey everybody has their own duty you're supposed to work and better yourself elevate yourself elevate others send out as much positivity as you possibly can i see when i see people i help congratulate them i was like i'm so happy for you and i'm not being fake either i said i'm really happy for you you know see somebody doing you know house hunting and stuff like that 
you know, I get happy for friends like that. I love to be able to see other people doing house tours and stuff like that. I said, you know, I'm going to be like you when I grow up. And I tell them I want to be like you when I grow up. Ain't feeling salty. Ain't feeling bad. Because they truly deserve that. They truly do. And just like you deserve your blessings as well. So trust and believe that the stuff you're battling with now, it could be depression. It could be weight. It could be this. It could be that. You know what you're working on. You know what you're trying to heal for yourself. So you keep doing that for yourself like with me. You know, I get frustrated because the fact is I gained a couple pounds since I don't smoke anymore. But that's fine. That is fine. I still love me on every aspect of me. You know, whatever I don't like, I will fix. So I'm doing the things that I need to do to better myself, to heal in so many different ways, letting go of things that's no longer serving me, keep pushing out videos, keep going, looking at the, you know, the understanding on why the wheel turned the way, they, the way it did, you know, and just keep working for mine and keep doing what I need to do for myself, you know, and you just be amazed how things are going. You know, I was just in a group, you know, light workers and empaths. They were like, ooh, Rosalind, I hope you're, you know, because I told them, I said, Mother Mother Earth is, is nesting, okay? She is preparing to give birth to a new world. So it's like right along with everybody else, they're birthing out. They're going through a big, like, you know, massive rebirth. So they're making you, like, all, all the darkness that you have in you, they're making you face it all at one time. And it gets to the point where it can make you feel like you're claustrophobic. It can make you feel like things are closing in on you. But it's not. They're like they're looking at you like, look, you want these blessings to be able to come into your life? You want to manifest them things you've been begging me for for the last three, four, or five years? Okay, but you're going to have to get rid of this. You're going to have to get rid of your insecurities. You're going to have to get rid of your anger, your, uh, your setbacks, not your setbacks, but your you know resentment. Anything that you have that is in a negative viewpoint on you, you're having to release it all right now. And I know it can be hellish. I know it can be hellish because you're facing too much at one time. But you have to understand the magnitude of the things you're trying to bring in. You're going to have to be able to do that. You want these big blessings to come in your life. You're going to have to do some big light work on how you're going to have to, you know, scrape up all that unwanted stuff, all them unwanted low, low frequency vibes out of your life so you can bring the, the high ones in. So you have to be able to keep working on you and know that even though you your enemy can be yourself right now, and hey, we get like that sometimes, especially when it deals with our insecurities. You know, you have to be able to love yourself in all aspects, knowing that you are a work in progress. You know, even when the blessings are coming, you're still working on you. And you can still stay, say thank you. It's like after you get what you want, you still be grateful. You still thank the heavens or whoever you powers to be. To let them know, thank you. I appreciate you bringing this in my life because you did not have to give it to me, but you felt like I earned this. So thank you for allowing these things to enter my life that I truly deserve. And you, and it's still gonna come because you. I'm telling you, once you pray on one thing, and that that floodgates of blessings come through, it's gonna it's like popping a levy off of something. You gonna have blessings coming into a gets point. I'd rather get overwhelmed with some blessings than overwhelmed with some daggone drama. <laughs> so you work, keep working on you and knowing you deserve every positive thing that you have been praying on times more to enter your life and know that it is on its way. Believe and have faith that it's on its way. Trust in the universe to know it's going to happen for you. I have to tell myself that every day and knowing the hard work you are really doing right now at this very moment is going to pay off for you. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love to you. I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Giving a shout out to Michelle Olsen and Jurassic Mark. Much love. Send out as much love and light positivity. And uh, to anybody that truly needs it, you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way. And know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. Like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. And give me a thumbs up and drop me a line and let me know if you're going through this right now. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.